Hello folks, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can have your own Netflix at home. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, so before we proceed into the video, I would like to tell you what we are currently doing and what are you going to learn after this video. So let's say that you want to share your uh, photos, videos and other stuff with your family members. Well, one way to do it would be plug in your pen drive where the device folder is and file is located take it from there and then share it with the other people by plugging their pen drive into that particular device well that's an old way now we're learning about how you can turn on media sharing option and share it across your network well this feature is not new it's been in the past and it's been around since windows 7 but not many people use it and not it's not known by a lot of people so today i'm going to show you how you can do that and have your own netflix streaming option such as like you can have your devices on one laptop and then share it across all the devices so you can stream it on your mobile on your tv so it's like having your own netflix so without wasting time and let's get straight into the video so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and search for control panel as you can see i have open control panel and now you need to go ahead and click on network and sharing center and now as you can see there is media streaming option just go ahead and click on it and now just read it what it really means i'll read it for you media streaming allows you to send your music pictures and videos to other computers and devices on a network it allows you to receive media from other computer and devices as well so let's say that there is a media streaming option turned on under laptop in your network if it shares some particular folders you can then stream it on your laptop as i said netflix so yeah also make sure that you are on your private network and firewall settings will modify it and make sure you are on a private network such as home or work so yeah you need to make sure that you are on a private network and not a public network because it will raise some firewall issues and your computer might get hacked or some virus might be induced so one way to make sure is go ahead and search for properties in your wi-fi network and make sure you are on a private and not in public so that way it remains more secure so enough talks let's get into the fun stuff so i've turned on media streaming option and now as you can see these are all the devices connected to my current network now as you can see there are lots of unknown devices well at the time of this recording not all these devices are turned on that's why it is laptop is not able to recognize what the device name is hence unknown device so what i will do is i will uncheck them and i will only make sure that the two tvs in my house the lg web os and samsung smart tv get access to the devices and files i share okay so this boring stuff is over now let's move ahead and see what are the files we need to share and how to include them so uh, before we proceed i need to tell you something that there is a concept of libraries in windows uh, what it really means is as you can see these are there are multiple libraries these is music pictures videos so these are all different libraries and when i turn on media streaming option these libraries get shared now if you want to share something you need to include them in these particular libraries so how do we do that well let's go to the folder you typically have to do and share it folders you cannot share particular files in it so as you can see i have this particular movies folder where i have a movie and i want to share this well what i will do is i will right click on it and i will include this in library in videos as you can see it has a movie so i'll include it in the videos library and as you can see the library folder has activated and as you can see the videos library is showing movies now okay so now it's available across the devices connected to my wi-fi now let's go ahead and see where i can watch this in my particular team so let's go okay so here we are now and i'll just click on home button and i'll navigate to the home dashboard and as you can see there are multiple options here this is another media server which is already started before i shot the video this is where all the movies are streamed but i want to show you the own server which we started right now just a couple of minutes before in the video so here it is the big inch. i'll just go ahead and click on it and as you can see there are two options photos and videos and music so obviously we shared the movies part so it will obviously in photos and videos just click on it And also make sure that you are connected on the Wi-Fi because if you are not connected on the Wi-Fi, you might not get these options. Okay, so I am going in the videos folder and as you can see, there are a couple of options, but the best thing is to go instead of all videos recorded series, just go ahead and click on folders. And as you can see, this is the movies folder, which I shared. And now as you can see the radioactive movie here. And now I'll click on it. And the movie starts playing yeah so also one thing to notice is that make sure your wi-fi is good and it's not consuming a lot of bandwidth with other devices 
but other than that it's pretty good it might be because my laptop slept but it's functional and as you can see i there is no pen drive plugged in if you want the proof for that as well i'll just turn around and show it to there are no pen drives plugged in so yeah so this is a really easy way of streaming media devices through one particular place so let's say that you have an old laptop you can just put in all your photos and videos there and then enable media streaming option and then couple it with wi-fi and then you have your own netflix as you can see i'm streaming movies right now without any pen drive through my laptop so yeah you saw how easy it was and how you can have your own netflix and share tons of videos without getting a pen drive or hooking up an ssd and making sure that everyone in the family network gets to see all the files in your particular device so yeah that was pretty much easy and it takes a couple of seconds to set up and now you have your own life set up as a netflix server so i guess that's it for this video folks if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and for more such content like this make sure to subscribe down below